Thank you, Lord Mayor. I, uh, I dislike Budget Council, um, and in particular the rhetoric of the Labour Group in often suggesting that the opposition are unconstructive. Um, my colleague and I are not on scrutiny, however, we do try to input where we can, and I'm pleased to see that some of the savings suggestions that we made last year in Budget um, have been adopted, and in particular the review of the postage system. Last year I was mocked for my enthusiasm for asset rationalisation and advised that it would not solve the Council's problems, but apparently this year it will. For reference, I didn't intend you to flog everything, uh, just the bits we're not getting maximum utility out of. But even applying the fire sale mentality, we still have the continued farcical situation in Mia where another building, the Mia Community Education Centre, is going to shut whilst we rent a local office 500 yards down the road. There are, however, aspects of the budget I can agree with, such as the decision to accept the grant from the Conservative-led government, thereby giving residents of the city respite from, real, from another relentless council tax increase they've seen in recent years. But there are other aspects of the budget that puzzle me, such as the £5 million Investor Save Fund. Having a sense of deja vu, I checked last year's budget papers to find a similar proposal, cunningly titled Save to Invest, totalling £4.6 million. Today's report talks of innovative ideas with the potential to reduce future running costs or provide additional income streams. But curiously, it gives no details on these. Keen to see how successful last year's £4.6 million investment into Investor Save, oh, sorry, is that right? Save to Invest, sorry, um, produced, um, I had a look at the list. We spent 280,000 in managing the council assets more efficiently, apparently. However, we managed to lose a number of iPads, and we also bungled a contract with the MOJ in Burslem. We spent 200,000 in redesigning the planning service, um, which led to a significant fall in income. And we spent 160,000 um, to take rigorous enforcement action against environmental crime. And this was so good that this year's original budget saw the annihilation of the environmental crime unit before cross-party lobbying saved it. And finally, the best one for me, we spent 80,000 to continue developing the university quarter and Stoke Town Centre. And we all know what happened there. And this, fundamentally, is my biggest problem with today's budget. On paper, it sounds great. But when you scratch beneath the surface, all is not what it should be. An additional 200,000 has found its way into reserves between the last budget and this, with no comment passed as to why. We stand on the verge of borrowing 77 million for our capital programme, yet the detail of what this will actually be spent on doesn't even appear in the paperwork. Last year, I sympathised with the aims of the budget, but disagreed with the need to raise, raise council tax. However, this year, the sheer lack of transparency in recycling savings schemes, borrowing money on we know not what, and increasing reserves while slashing services, services, and I've not even mentioned today's news of the EU refund due to missing project deadlines, mean I can't support a budget that involves crossing your fingers and hoping it all works out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. says that last year she got mocked for um, the, the, the alternatives she put down. She didn't get mocked for that reason. What I did criticise Councillor uh, Abby Brown for last year is that the suggestions or the alternatives she put forward last year still meant that she was about £23 million short of delivering a legal budget. And of course, here we are once again. Mayor Community Centre is going to close. Did you? Is Mayor Community Centre going to close? Is this anybody else heard that? Is, are the officers going to close the Mayor Community Centre? Yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> totally news to me. Let's create a situation, make a deal, a big deal out of it, and then just sit back and say they mocked me when I suggested the idea. £4.6 million last year wasn't the same scheme as this £5 million that were being put forward now. This is a totally different scheme. Again, if you sit down with me, with the officers, we will explain these things to you, which are obviously quite difficult for you to understand.